G'day guys, welcome back. So I uh, got the bay painted last week. It's all turned out pretty awesome. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the um, get all the black stuff done. So get the diff done, the um, OTR, the radiator, the uh, fuel tank and whatnot. Just the other bits and pieces to put it back together. So um, we'll get all that painted and um, yeah, we'll get this car back together. All right, let's kick on. Okay, so with all the black stuff painted, uh, we're gonna move back to the car and we're gonna start um, unwrapping the car. We'll get all the tape and whatnot off it and then we'll um, go ahead and we'll put the brakes in the car. So that's gonna be our next mission. Uh, the master cylinder for the clutch and, and whatnot and a couple of little bungs and things for things we don't use. Um, we'll get all the wiring back to where it needs to be. So um, next up's gonna be basically the brakes. So we've got a VS booster with a VT master cylinder and uh, VYSS front brakes and VS, um, VS disc brakes for the rear. So I do have new discs and uh, pads on the way, but um, we'll go ahead and get the what I have here on and um, hopefully the discs turn up and then we're going to put some new brake lines in it. So that'll be our next mission. All right, let's uh, get the booster and that in and we'll come back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and fitted the uh, VS brake booster. So that is the six cylinder plastic VS booster. Uh, that went straight in the hole, no mods, nothing, just went straight in. Um, next to it is our master cylinder. So that is the factory VL master cylinder, which has had the uh, piston upgraded. So it's got the larger, I think it's a three quarter size piston in it to run the T56 and our clutch line. So I managed to find the clutch line just on eBay. So these are the people I got it from, there's your part number. Um, I think it's about 100 bucks or so, but I also did buy the remote bleeder kit um, just to make it a bit easier. So what we'll do now is we'll um, get around and we'll get all these factory VL front brakes off. Um, so we'll get all that stripped out and then fit up our VT hubs. All right, so let's get that done. Okay, so we've stripped out all the factory braking system. Um, we've gone ahead and put our VT hub adapters on, so they're all fitted. Um, just in the nick of time, our discs have turned up. So we've got our new discs, pads, and uh, there's a rear set. Um, so we'll go and get all this fitted up and uh, we'll start on the diff. All right. Okay, so I've gone ahead and fitted all the brakes up. So we've got our VY SS slotted discs and calipers. I think they're all the same, VT to VY or whatever. But um, got our calipers, twin piston calipers, and our lines and all that. Everything's all hooked up. Um, no, no issues. Everything just bolted on as it should. So that was good. Um, gone ahead and stuck the rear end in. So just turned up. So they're all fitted up, new pads and whatnot. Just give them a bit of a lick of paint. Um, well, here's the final rear end all installed. So everything's been painted and looking pretty damn fantastic. All right, so um, next up, we're going to make some brake lines and we'll start bleeding all this up. All right, let's keep going. 
All right, so we've got all the brakes done now. Um, as you can see, all our new lines are all in here. So we did put a line lock in it. So we've got a line lock on the front brakes. So it does have a wide block. So it runs off the booster, uh, off the master. Uh, one line runs to the rear. The other line runs straight down into the line lock and then into the uh, the T-joint, which runs to both front brakes. So um, that's all wired in. So in stick shift racing, you ideally want to be able to pull up to the line um, on the double bulb, hit the button, an activation button, which will activate the front brakes. So you stand on the brake, hit the button, release the brake, which holds pressure in the front wheels, uh, front brakes. So that'll hold the front brakes. Um, and then you hold the button as you build the revs uh, and your two-step will be on the same activation button. So then when the light goes green, you let go of the button and dump the clutch and off you go. So that's the plan anyway. So um, that's all done, our dash six fuel system. So I have just done a dead head fuel system on this one. It's just a single dash six feed, three eight size, uh, which is enough. Like it is just basically a stock LS1 with a cam in it. Although, um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk about other options for that later. So, but we are looking at doing something a bit different later. Um, so just fitted the handbrake cable. So I just found out that the disc brake and drum brake handbrake cables are different. So we've gone ahead and fitted this disc brake one. So I made all that work, everything works fine. Um, tail shaft's off getting done now. So that shouldn't be too far away. Um, we're pretty close. Basically almost done under here to be honest. It's just a matter of fitting the tail shaft and the exhaust So because this is the old headers off the ute um, I did grab the exhaust off it, which is pretty close to fitting. So That's what we got here. It's nothing fancy. They're cheap mufflers. Just a mandrel bent twin three inch um, That we knocked up in the shed. So it's got an X pipe in it because you know If you don't have an X pipe, they seem to drone a lot. So we've got an X pipe in it um, I did have to modify one muffler and move it forward slightly uh, because the ute, it must be a little different under the chassis there. But um, anyway, so just move that, that's fine. We're just going to give that a coat of paint um, with some high temp exhaust paint and that'll be all sorted and looking mint. Um, actually fits real nice, so hopefully it's not too noisy. Um, so obviously motor and box is back in, so I have been working away on this one. Um, unfortunately it took a little bit longer to get the brake line adapters than planned so anyway so everything's all in there so what i'll do is i'll lower it down and we'll have a look at the engine bay because it's all turned out really really nice so i'm very happy with it all right let's keep going okay so back on the ground basically got the engine bay pretty well sorted uh everything is in here except the wiring it doesn't have any wiring in it but um yeah as you can see like the otr all fits really really good um everything clears there's no no issues anywhere I've um, got our Falcon Thermo fan in there, like I normally run. Um, yeah, there's really not much to report. It's all, it all fits pretty damn well. Um, yeah, it's all looking good. So I did run the heater lines. Unfortunately, there really is no nice way of doing them without, I don't know, I probably could have done some hard line or something, I don't know, but it is a streetcar, so working heater. So that's the plan. Um, these are the hard line. These are the adapters that I was waiting on. Um, they took quite some time to get here for some reason. Anyway, they're all done. Um, everything's bled, so it's actually, it's pretty much ready to send out for wiring now. So, um, yeah, basically just a tail shaft, stick the exhaust. Um, so I've got our manual gear knob in there. So what I did was modify the factory uh, so this gearbox got a T50. This, this gearbox has a rip shifter on it, which has a straight shifter. So I modified that to fit within the console, um, the standard console area, um, and I just modified it and used a thread tap and die, and cut that thread into it for the gear knob. So it's a that is a VL Walkinshaw gear knob. Um, I got from that hole com, I think it's called. Um, and also we got our dash in here. So this is our IC7 dash um, with the stickers on it. Uh, might be a little difficult to film, but it's all in there. Um, looks pretty good. So it does have a standard cassette player in it, factory appearing gear knob, and now the dash looks relatively factory looking. So I'd say we've probably nailed the factory sort of look inside, but um, it is 
a little daggy in there, like it's got a few little things, the back seat's all in it from the tubs um, and whatnot. So need to final do some final finish up on it, but for the most part, the car's pretty much there. Just got to um, sort out that one core pack that hits the fucking brake booster. So I moved it, but not enough. Um, so that's okay, we'll just do that. But yeah, almost there. Um, put a catch can on it and whatnot, but... Anyway, that'll probably do this one. So, getting close now. All right, I'll catch you on the next one.